When you sign for Arsenal, there's always going to be a lot of talk about you, especially now when the expectations are so high and the team is so good. And one of the best examples of that is when David Raya was signed for Arsenal and ended up replacing fan favourite Aaron Ramsdale. Now there's been a lot of talk about is this worth it, even I've done videos in the past. But recently, David Raya's performances have been much better and he is helping the team be so dominant in games. And here's why. Now every time I talk about David Raya, there's always people who are not happy. People still prefer Aaron Ramsdale and I think that's your right that is fair enough Aaron Ramsdale is a brilliant goalkeeper and did a lot for Arsenal over the last few years so he deserves his credit and in a way I don't think necessarily he deserved to be dropped but I think in the last few weeks Arsenal have probably been at the most dominant period under Mikel Arteta and I think it's down to David Rye's huge improvement in goal now this may on the face of it seem like a bit of a weird thing to say considering Arsenal have only had two shots on target against them in the last two games and we still managed to concede the goal which you could blame David Rye for even though I wouldn't and he may go under the radar with how good we've been going forward with the ball and how dominant we've been in games. Obviously a 6-0 win against West Ham, a 5-0 win against Palace and a 3-1 win against Liverpool. We've been very good and dominant in them games. But David Ryan in these games has been amazing. Specifically in the West Ham game and the Liverpool game, I think he really, really improved. And that West Ham game I think was one of the best our examples of why Mikel Arteta wanted him in his team in the first place. Now football is a game of small margins. Obviously Mikel Arteta knew this and a lot of us couldn't really understand why Aaron Ramsey that was getting dropped for a 30 million sign and where we could probably have spent money in other places and now while that still is definitely the case I think there's definitely money elsewhere Ryan's slight improvement on Aaron Ramsdale in certain aspects I think helps our team more than anything and as much as I think Aaron Ramsdale would be a brilliant goalkeeper and it's probably on the same level as Raya I don't think he necessarily fits what we want to do now David Ryan isn't going to be the best saver on the ball I think Aaron Ramsdale's shot saving is much better at a much higher level and even this season I think he's conceded a brown amount of goals he should have or he's still not had a great save percentage being quite low at 73% but overall obviously his goals against per night is 0.95 which is very high but that is a brilliant defense that we also have helping him we have the one of the best defenses in Europe at the moment which is obviously going to help you not concede many much. Raya also isn't on the ball as much as Ramsdale probably was for the team. Ramsdale was a big part of our build-up play last year and helped us build up from the back. Raya as much as you would think it is not actually having too many touches comparatively to goalkeepers in the Premier League and Europe, only sitting around 39 touches per game. Now there's been a lot of criticism of Ryan's ability not to pass the ball short from goal kicks and not being very good at quick passes and being quite nervous on the ball. And now while this is fair, he never really did this at Brentford, he more long kicked it to Tony and they played much more long progressing football. But he was so good at long passing, I think Arteta had the feeling that he should be able to do it in small range and he's definitely getting there now. This season has been a big adaptation of him to try and make him pass smaller and slower around the pitch. Not necessarily necessarily just smacking it all the way across to play as the other side but it's definitely an option he can still do when we've got Havertz winning them headers. Now to me there is two key reasons why David Wright is in our team over Aaron Ramsdale and they might be small things but I think they're quite key to how we play. Now Aaron Ramsdale is not the worst person at claiming crosses and he isn't the worst person at coming out but I do think sometimes there has been some criticism of how slow he is picking up the ball. David Wright is one of the best persons, probably the best goalkeepers in Europe at claiming crosses. He's in the top 1% and per game and for average he is stopping 12% of crosses against him. This is a very high number. He often positions himself well to be able to catch the ball and despite him not being the tallest, him sitting near his line would definitely be a bad decision. I like it when he comes with the balls and catches them and then passes them off to our players. People like Onana get criticised because they stay on their line too much and I definitely think that's a problem. Because of this, he is very quick at offloading the ball. He's very accurate with his throws and can often lead Arsenal on the counter-attack and we've seen it a few times this year already. And because he is very dominant at catching the balls, even from corners, he likes standing a bit away from his goal because often with his height, he usually gets overloaded, which can cause us problems. And despite us obviously having Gabriel, who's one of the best defensive headers in the league, and Saliba, who's improving, when we go against dominant strikers, it's sometimes a lot to ask for them to always head the ball away. And with good crosses, we need our goalkeeper to come out and be a surgeon in the box. And compare that to Aaron Ramsdale, who's only stopping around 5% of crosses against him. That is almost half of what David Dreyer is doing. So he simply isn't getting out to his box and like staying on his line, which is great for shot stopping, but it isn't going to help Arsenal counter and have much presence in their 
their own box and have that assurance. And the other thing I think he has picked for Arsenal is because of his position that we saw against West Ham. He saw him pick up these weird positions where he would move to the left a little bit and sort of form a back three with our defenders, letting our full backs and midfield push up. He's got a very good idea of where to stand and where to position himself to make the pass into midfield a lot easier without getting pressed. And this was something I think at the start he struggled with and was getting pressed quite quickly, but now he's understanding where to go, where to move. They simply aren't pressing him as quickly so he can understand, pick his passes and move us up the pitch. He's often not your average goalkeeper in this sense. He loves getting these passing angles and operates in such a different role that we really see. Someone at Edison is very good at passing, but as soon as he gets put a bit more deeper to his team, he struggles. And you combine this brilliant individual ability to be able to do these passes short range and get good passing angles with the ability that he's got, which is a much better long range passer than Ram. So it makes understandable sense why he's in the team. He can really ping a ball up when we need it to, to have us to get past the midfield and the attack. Or he can get in the right positions and pass it around the defence to keep us more pressure. I do think personally Aaron Ramsdale is probably a better shot stopper than him but you can see the control that David Rai gives us and I think Mikel Arteta wants this so we concede as least shots as possible like we have in the last two games only having two shots on target. So no matter what the shot stopping's like it doesn't matter when you're having that little amount of shots against you. And you combine all of this with the fact that the data suggests that David Rai is just a better goalkeeper than Aaron Ramsdale. He makes more saves anyway than Aaron Ramsdale and has a better post-shock expected goals which means he's not conceded as much as he should do in comparison to Aaron Ramsdale. Now Aaron Ramsdale has played less minutes in the last year but he's still played enough minutes to have that as a fair start sitting at around over 2,000. And now this doesn't mean that Darren Wright isn't going to make mistakes but I think overall it's the ability and the sort of attributes that he have help the team have more progression and help the team have more control and it's always about control of Mikel Arteta. Every single game he just wants to be in control the whole time and this is the most important thing about him and now the control is starting to work fully and we're starting to create chances for the attack starting to click you're starting to see a much better Arsenal team now it may not last it may not last forever but this is what Arteta's aim is and his vision is and this performance is recently will probably be happy that he's finally getting what he expected from his team when he started them and bought them in the first place I'm also not going to act like he's always a saint I do think the Raya and Ramsar situation got blown up a little bit by his comments if Raya was going to be number one you would think you would just say he's going to be number one and I guess that he didn't want to upset Ramsdale but Ramsdale was never really going to be an option when they clearly suggested and saw this alternative happening years before that's why they wanted Raya years before and that's why eventually they got him even when people didn't really understand the deal and in no way is Aaron Ramsdale a bad goalkeeper I still think he should be England's number one and I still think he's one of the better goalkeepers in the Premier League but sometimes it's not always about that in these top teams it's like the same thing with Edison where Edison isn't the best shot stopper but what he brings to Man City with his pass and ability which has been a bit poor recently usually it's very good and it helps Man City get on the pitch quicker making them a better tactical team and giving them more control and unfortunately that's the times we live in and it means Ramsdale will probably have to leave in the summer thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about Mikel Arteta's tactics and let me know what you think about David Wright do you think he's been improving do you think he deserves this praise or do you still want to see Aaron Ramsdale in the team I appreciate your view if you like this video I would recommend watching my video yesterday where I talk about Ben White's tactical approach in the Arsenal West Ham game and I appreciate you guys watching my videos like always.